on two tonight, flag fines. This is what a Kingwood business is facing after flying dozens of colorful flags above its store. Now, the city says it's a violation, and if the flags don't come down, the business is going to have to pay hundreds of dollars worth of fines. Channel 2 reporter Brandon Walker joining us live at that business in Kingwood with more on this for us. Brandon. And Bill, to be clear, the store owners say that they're not challenging the law. All they're asking for is an exception so that the flag on their play is reviewed. Can I do the little cans? You can use the little cans. We're fine. For 40 years, Kent Stevens That's why we're in the business. and wife Jan it's so good to see you. have done just that, grooming pets. Her name is Willa. Selling food and other supplies from their storefront pet ranch in Kingwood. Like most businesses in the area, Harvey did a number. Okay, Three and a half feet. feet. But the Stevens reopened days after the storm. Same can't be said for many of their neighbors. There are five of us who were able to come back and actually continue business. So as part of their 40th anniversary last month, the Stevens got pennants installed. They fly high outside the store, dual purpose. Hey, we're alive again. There's life in Kingwood. Everybody, we're here. But it seems the Stevens crossed the line, at least according to city code. Attention getting device violation of the city of Houston. Section 2837 to be exact. According to city code, anything placed on a business to draw attention to it, flags, ribbons, stuff like that is illegal. An inspector from the city of Houston sign administration cited the Stevens this week. I've got to respect the fact that they're just doing their job. We do respect the law. Yeah, I mean, it's a law, no question about that. We're asking for a little variation in it. Especially, they say, considering how tough business has been for the area. The penance, they say, draw eyeballs. It's more important to generate tax revenues in the Kingwood area than it is to enforce a citation. So what happens next? If the Stevens don't remove the flags, if they don't get an exception, they tell us that they have until next week to remove them. If they don't, they'll get a fine of up to $500 per day, they tell us. Stay tuned. We'll keep you posted. We're live for you tonight in Kingwood. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.